Good morning. I'm reading um, 1 Thessalonians, um, and this is Sunday, 12 16, 2018. Now we beseech you, brethren, by the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ and by our gathering together unto him, that we will not soon shaken in mind or be troubled, neither by spirit nor by word, nor by letter as from us, as the day of Christ is at hand. Let no man deceive you by any means. For that day shall come, except there be a falling away first, that a man of sin be revealed, the son of prediction, who oppose and exalt himself above all, and is called God, that is worshipped, so he, that he was God sitting in the temple of God, showing himself that he is God. Remember ye not that I was yet with you, I told you these things, and now ye know that withhold that he might be revealed in this time. For the mystery of iniquity does already work. Only he who know now letteth will let, and he that will be taken out of the way. And then shall the wicked be revealed, whom the Lord shall consume with the spirit of his mouth, and shall destroy in the brightness of his coming. Even him who is coming in after the works of Satan, with all power and signs and lying wonders, and all deceivableness of unrighteousness in them that perish because they receive not the love of the truth and they might be saved for this cause God shall send them in a strong delusion that they should believe a lie and they all might be damned who believe not in the truth but had pleasure in unrighteousness but if we are bound to give thanks away to God for you brethren Beloved of the Lord, because God hath from the beginning chosen you to salvation, to sanctification of the Spirit and belief of the truth. Whereunto you he is called our gospel, to the according of the glory of our Lord Jesus Christ. Therefore, brethren, stand fast, and hold the traditions which you have been taught, whether by word or by epistle. And now our Lord Jesus Christ himself, God, even our Father, which hath loved us, and hath given us everlasting consolation, and good hope through grace. Comfort your hearts and establish you in every good work and truth. So I hope this finds you well. I hope you have the peace that passes all understanding. And the Lord be with you until I read again. Thank you for joining me and I will talk to you later. Have a blessed Sunday. Bye-bye.